Hi everyone, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my vintage teacup and teapot collection. I have been collecting vintage teacups and teapots for a little bit of time now. It kind of started when I wanted to go on trips, or I did go on trips, whether it was like to Cape May or it was like a special festival I was playing because I am a singer and songwriter, and I kind of wanted to remember it in a way without getting like a like a keychain or something like really rinky dinky that I was gonna wanna throw away at some point. So I decided on getting some teacups, which turned into teapots, which turned into me scouring eBay and Facebook Marketplace to find my favorites. So we're gonna get into it because I have some absolute favorites here and I'll tell you the little stories behind each one as well. And if you guys are wondering about this dress, this is by a small business. Her name is um, Lacey and the company is called Lace Made Shanghai and I will link the dress down below. I absolutely love it. It's fun. It's very cottage core and so is this whole video because that's kind of my thing. <laughs> So if you're new here, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can see all my future uploads and we'll get into my vintage teacup collection and teapot. So first I will start out with, hmm, I will start out with my very first one that kind of inspired this whole thing and that is this teacup right here. It is just so beautiful. There is like a flower on the saucer right here like this, and there's a flower on the inside as well. I'll shoot close-ups of this. This is by Royal Halsey, and I got this in Cape May when I went into a vintage store, and I really, really wanted to remember the trip because I had such a good time, and I got it for $12, and I later found out this is worth $65. That kind of started my little, wow, like I can go to a place and get something really beautiful that reminds me of the place, and where to go and then I made a rule that I would always stick to that but I, I didn't I broke that rule guys <laughs> I'm not gonna lie so this was my very first one and it's still one of my most beautiful ones I have this little spoon which is gold and has roses on it I got this from a local antique store by me in Phillipsburg New Jersey it's called the Phillipsburg Antique Mall that's what it's called and I just thought it would look so cute in this teacup so that's why I got it Ooh, putting that down carefully so while we're on the Cape May extravaganza there's a lot of really cute shops in Cape May and that's where this teapot comes in and this teapot I actually didn't get in Cape May but I saw it in Cape May but it was broken and in broken condition it was $75 and I kind of wrestled back and forth for at least 30 minutes and I decided to let it go and not get it and I thought about it ever since for another three years and I literally just purchased it because I found it so cheap online normally this teapot you you won't believe this guys you literally won't believe this this teapot is worth like $280, almost $300, depending on the seller, but it's like in that range from $250 to $350. And I got it for $40 on, I think the site was called Bong, Bongz, Bongza, Bong, I'll put the name here for you guys, but it is so beautiful. And this is a Sadler England, I believe. Yep, Sadler England teapot. I have literally been seeking this one out for three years and I absolutely love it. It is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The next teapot I have here is also from Cape May. I got this from another vintage store. As you guys know, I love visiting Cape May and I love going antique shopping in the, or oh, wait, no, 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 I'm lying, I'm lying. This is Point Pleasant. So it's in, it was from Point Pleasant. I'm sorry guys, edit, edit, edit. Point Pleasant, New Jersey, but Point Pleasant in this town, it's very similar. It can be similar. Cape May's prettier. Sorry, Point Pleasant. But yeah, I got this in the vintage shop there. And this is again, English Sadler, Sadler England. If you don't get the theme here, I really like Sadler. I have Royal Albert as well and Foley and other, other brands, but I do really like Sadler England. And I absolutely love this teapot too. And it just, I just remember the trip and it makes me happy. Moving on to some of the teacups here now, I have this beautiful one, and this is a Royal Albert teacup, and this is actually from the 1930s, and actually so is this 
$300 teapot here. And you can actually tell from the logo on the bottom, it's not like printed on, it actually looks like it was like hand painted on. And it is so beautiful and dainty. <laughs> it's so beautiful and dainty and I love it. This one I actually got on Facebook Marketplace. This is when I broke my rule. And when I saw this one, I started breaking my rule. So yeah, I love it. This next cup here is a recent purchase. Actually, some of these, like quite a few of these are a recent purchase. Um, but I really like this one because of the mint color. I just thought it was so unique and the inside is so beautiful with all the flowers on the inside. I just thought it was so nice. And this is actually the first, well, the other one was Royal Albert and this one is Foley. Yes, it's Foley. I really love it. I love the color. It just, the color just drew me to this cup. So I had to buy it. And this one I got on eBay. It was a pretty good deal. I think it was like 20 bucks. It was 20 bucks. Oh, and I forgot to say how much I paid for the, the Royal Albert one. That one was only 10. So good deal on that. Now this one is another love and this one has a little bit of a story behind it as well. So my grandmother had this teapot, but in when my grandmother moved, she moved from one house to another a lot. And somehow in that transition, getting it here, it broke and she's not with us anymore. Uh, but my mom really always loved this teapot and she really wanted it from her. So she actually has this teapot, but it's broken and she had glued it back together and stuff, but it just didn't, it just didn't look like it did. Cause it, when she opened the box, it was like in pieces. So, so like, I don't know what happened during the moving process, but I then saw this online. Like I didn't even know, like my mom didn't even show me that until just recently. And then I was like, oh, like it would be really nice if I bought the teapot new for my mom, especially because my grandmother liked it so much. And this is by Sadler England again. And I just thought it was so cool that my grandmother had this like iridescent pink cottage core teapot. I just thought that was really, really cool that she was into it. And it even had the gold elements, which I love and I'm into. So I purchased this and this teapot is expensive. It's normally like $180 and I got it online on eBay for $40, I guess, you know, when they're selling these for like $40, and it's funny because this one was $40 and this one was $40 too. And that include, and that included the shipping. So when they're selling the, them for that cheap, it's either that they just want to get rid of them really quick or they just don't know how much they're worth. But yeah, I got it for $40 and I absolutely love it. And it makes me think of my grandmother. The next two teacups I have here are Royal Albert teacups. And these ones are pretty popular, especially this pattern right here, which is the, I believe it's Old Country Rose? Old Country Roses, yeah. And this is like more of, I like the maroons and the deep colors. And this is by Royal Albert. I got this for 25. These ones were kind of expensive because I think they're so popular. So this was 25 and so was this one, which I actually think I like this better. I believe this one is Cottage Roses. I like them both a lot though. This is, Cottage Garden by Royal Albert. And these ones are newer. You can tell by the bottom of them that the, you know, it's it's very much more printed onto the cup. Oh, this, are, this still has the tag on it. Sorry guys. Um, I actually really wanted to get it because I found this, I think it's like a bread plate uh, at the local vintage store. And I was kind of waiting for this to finally get into the store and it never did. So I purchased this so I could stack them and it looks really cute like this, uh, stacked. And if you guys would be interested in seeing like, I have like a dinnerware collection that I've been collecting and I'm like really excited once I get a house to be able to kind of like show all that off in the dining room. And I like the idea of like mix matching, like kind of like I do here, like it's, it's matching, but like pastel colors. I don't know, like I just have that that's kind of what I want to do with my dinnerware. So if you guys want to see that collection and how that's coming along, but I wanted to tell you guys the best places to find these things, which is really at vintage stores and thrift stores on Facebook marketplace, eBay. And then there was that site bon Bongozu, Bongoza or something, but you can really get this stuff really cheap. Lots of people think it's super expensive because it looks super expensive. And if you buy it brand new, it is, but you can get it really cheap and you can get vintage ones that not a lot of people have that are rare so it's like unique and it's 
about like breaking your budget. Okay, so this is my last teapot here and this is an English Sadler teapot. This was actually my first English Sadler teapot that I got and this was from Rhode Island. What was it Rhode Island? No. I'm sorry, this was from Delaware when I played the, what festival was it? The Ladybug Music Festival. And after our set, which we played on this like enormous stage outside, it was really cool. Then I went to the vintage store and I picked up this English Saddler teapot. Or it's like a, it was like a thrift antique vintage store. And I picked this up to remember that show. And that's why like I like to do that. Like, so now that I recently purchased like quite a lot of them, I'm gonna, try to chill a bit unless I go somewhere special because then I'm gonna be like an old lady with a bunch of teapots and teacups which I don't really mind but I, I don't want to get too crazy with it or do I <laughs> okay so this is the last one this one is by Royal Kendall and this is again made in England now this one I only got for a dollar and it's more like a herb I think it's echinacea the flower print and I purposely got this one because I wanted to make it into like a little succulent cup and it looks really cute like this but obviously I'm not gonna use like one of my Royal Albert ones or anything like that for that and I mean I mean some people might really love this one but I know like this one I got it for a dollar I think it sells for like 12 typically so I was like okay with making this my succulent teacup but I actually had to water this because it looks like it is um, kind of dying. So, so yeah. But anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed watching my vintage teacup and teapot collection. I really enjoy these and I display them all over my room and it just makes me happy. And I know if you watch my live streams on um, Tuesdays at 8 p.m. EST, I talk about them a lot and you guys laugh at me like, oh, bring out the teacups and teapots because it makes me so excited inside. I really love them. I'm going to keep collecting them and I'll do an update. If you guys want to know anything else more about them, I could go into more detail about each one maybe in another video. Just let me know down below if you're interested in that. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.